Hi everyone, our topic for today is about integration of vector valid functions. So after the discussion of this uh, lesson, uh, you should be able to integrate a vector valid function. Okay, the following definition is a consequence of the definition of the derivative of a vector valid function. That number one, in two-dimensional space, if r of t is f of ti plus g of tj, where f and g are continuous on this closed interval a, b, then the indefinite integral or antiderivative of r is given by this equation. So we have the integral of r of t dt is equal to the integral of the first component f of t dt times i plus the integral of the second component g of t dt times j. And its corresponding uh, definite integral over this interval, the t is from uh, a to b where the endpoints are included is defined using this equation. So you have the integral of r of t dt from a to b is equal to the integral of the first component f of t dt where t is from a to b times i plus the integral of the second component g of t dt where t is from a to b times j. So in three-dimensional space if r of t is f of t i plus g of t j plus h of t k where f and g and h are continuous on this closed interval a b then the definite integral or antiderivative of r is given as follows so we have the integral of r of t dt is the integral of the first component times i plus the integral of the second component times j plus the integral of the third component times k and uh, its corresponding definite integral over this interval t is greater than or equal to a but less than or equal to b is defined as the integral of r, r of t dt from a to b is uh, equal to the integral of the first component now f of t dt where t is from a to b times i plus the integral of the second component uh, g of t dt where t is from a to b times j plus the integral of the third component h of t dt where t is from a to b times k okay. okay so let us now uh, define the integral of a vector valid function so in number one if r of t is f of t i plus g of t j, where f and g are continuous on this closed interval a, b, then the indefinite integral of this vector valid function r is equal to the integral of r of t dt equals the integral of f of t dt times i plus the integral of g of t dt times j. And its definite integral over this interval, t is greater than or equal to a, but less than or equal to b, is defined as the integral of r of t dt from a to b, which is equal to the integral of the first component, f of t dt, where t is from a to b times i, plus the integral of the second component, g of t dt, where t is from a to b times j. So similarly, in three-dimensional space, if you're given a vector valid function with uh, these components, f of t, g of t, and h of t, where f, g, and h are continuous on this interval a, b, then the indefinite integral or antiderivative of r is defined as uh, defined below. The integral of r of t dt is the integral of the first component times i plus the integral of the second component times j plus the integral of the third component no, times k. And its corresponding uh, definite integral over this interval, t is greater than or equal to a but less than or equal to b, is equal to uh, this equation. Uh, wherein the integral of r of t dt from a to b is the integral of the first component f of t dt where t is from a to b times i okay plus the integral of the second component g of t dt where t is from a to b times j 
plus the integral of the third component h of t dt where t is from a to b times k. Okay, the antiderivative of a vector valid function is a family of vector valid function all differing by a constant vector c. Like for instance, if you're given a vector valid function in three-dimensional space, then for the indefinite integral or integral of r, uh, r of t dt, uh, you will obtain three constants of integration. We have the constant of integration for the i component, which is c sub 1. Then we have another constant of integration c sub 2 for the integral of the second component. And in the third, the constant of integration after integrating h of t, 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 so we have c sub 3, where capital F prime of t is the, the function small of f of t, or this is the radicand. Then you have g prime of t is equal to g of t, and h prime of t is equal to small uh, letter function h of t. Okay, so in this case, now we have three constants or three scalar constants of integration produce uh, one vector constant of integration. 